Back. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with the always lovely and talented Andrea Kay, the always incredible Urban Miaris, and we have our first guest of the day. Welcome, Rochelle Kloon from Angie's House by Generations. Hello. Great. So tell us, tell us a little bit about Angie's House. What do you do? Angie's House is a residential care community located on the border of Rancho Santa Fe, where we offer residents assistance with uh, daily living to kind of allow them to live the most independent life they can live. Great. Great. So uh, why Rancho Santa Fe? I mean, it's gorgeous. Why not rent it? (laughs) (laughs) There you go. There you go. So it was just the perfect environment and atmosphere, and the views are incredible. So it was really just the place I felt I would want to live, and I'd imagine seniors would want to live, too. Right. Well, you know, it's what's interesting is, um, how do I say this? You're you're very young (laughs) and taking on a challenge that is, uh, it's quite the challenge. Uh, So um, tell us a little bit about your background. I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for about nine years now. Okay. So um, I was nursing for a couple years and my grandmother actually became ill. So I was lucky enough to be able to take some time to be with her and spend time with her and help her through that process. And shortly after that, my uh, other grand, my grandfather passed away. So we had to then look for housing for my other grandmother and she wanted to come back to San Diego. This is where she had her fond memories with being in the Navy with my grandfather and they loved San Diego. Where did they come from? Um, Southern California. Okay, so other part. Yes. So um, they, she came down with us. My mom and I looked with her, and we were just heartbroken by her options in San Diego. You know, you had, there are beautiful communities in San Diego. They're large. They have all these amenities, activities, great things. But it's very intimidating when you're coming from a sure. home where you just live with your spouse for, for years to go to this giant community with hundreds of people that you now have to befriend and participate with. So that um, wasn't appealing to her. And then we looked for the smaller homes and there was nothing that was really to the caliber that she wanted. So I saw this need for this beautiful, intimate type setting that still had all the luxuries that people deserve. Interesting. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of residential care facilities and, and different things. You know, I have uh, clients that do nothing but place people in residential care mm-hmm. as, as a business. I started out in long-term care back in the 80s. And, you know, it, just seeing something like this, this is so unique. So um, your your background is a nurse. Mm-hmm. And, you know, tell me tell me how, how that connects over, how you connected it over to assisted living. Well, my family also has been um, starting businesses for as long as I can remember. That was the dinner table talk with dad and grandpa and <laughs> business talk. So it was kind of a natural progression with my nursing skills to see this need. And I also had the skills and the backing with my father and support to kind of be like, you know, I could do this. I could mm-hmm. I could make this better. I could help seniors. I could help myself. I could I could fulfill a lot of areas here. So interesting. So then tell us a little bit about the facility itself. It is a beautiful, like 4,600 square foot home, single story, all private rooms, private bathrooms. Uh-huh. It's on an acre and a half, so we have a beautiful putting green. Oh, uh, nice. I know, a seeded planter boxes so you can sit and garden, 16 bush rose garden, a path all around the property, panoramic views. I mean, you really don't want to leave. Oh, not. <laughs> okay. What's the What's the minimum age? Because maybe I want to. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I want to live in Rancho Santa Fe and have a putting green in the backyard. Andrea, How do I get in o- on this? Don't open those doors, honey. Dang. <laughs> How do you? Okay, so that sounds amazing. And for, for our East Coast listeners and people not from San Diego, Rancho mm-hmm. Santa Fe is like. How do you even describe it? It, it is the Beverly Hills of San Diego County, is it not? Right. In terms of it is our highest end community. It is, the, and it, people think of Southern California as being t- t- tiny little, you know, um, square lots. So it's beautiful. It's lush. It's serene. I would imagine for seniors that it also is a peaceful setting as well. Absolutely. So you have this l- lush surrounding. Tell us then a little bit more in this beautiful facility about the actual care and the service that you provide on a daily basis to your residents. Sure. Well, I mean, you've spent your whole life taking care of people. It's time to let people take care of you. So that's what we specialize in. We are there to help as much or as little as you need it. We provide all your meals, snacks throughout the day, housekeeping, laundry service. We can coordinate doctor's appointments and visits. We do activities throughout the day for you. 
We do a social activity, an intellectual activity, and a physical activity planned every day that you can choose to partake in. And we can help with assistance with bathing, dressing, grooming if you need it, and kind of just ease your life so that you're allowed to just do the things you love doing. Well, I'll say this, that, you know, from our talk back in the green room, um, the the idea here is, it, to me, it looks like assisted living on steroids, okay? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you, you go into assisted living and, and, you know, typically they find the uh, most uh, economical property they can find. They try to do as much or as little as needed to, right. to take care of what they need. And you just look like you're going way over the top to give people a top level of service. That's probably why they come to Rancho Santa Fe to begin with. Yeah. And, you know, that's what they deserve. These are the best years of your life. Like, why would you not want to, to live in this lush, beautiful setting where people care about you as a person? It's really it's it's quality over quantity for me. Right. You know, another issue, too, is the zoning. And Michelle, explain how you're able to have such a facility in Rancho Santa Fe. Well, we have our licenses for six residents. So that is it's a residential home by all standards. It's we're living like a family in a family type setting. And so it doesn't fall into any kind of business zoning based on the number of residents we have. OK, so um, is this a plan to just take uh, take one facility and, and keep it or do you plan on expanding i would love to expand i'll see uh, i'll see how we're received but yeah. that would be my goal to to bring it to other areas and do with it as much as i can that's great that's great so um you uh, let's let's dig into the difference between uh angie's house and the others again i know we talked about it a little bit before but you know to me it's it's really about um rather than Many of them are, are more of a last stop for people. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a desired stop for people. Right. Right. Now, this is somewhere you you want to come. And even when I was designing it, I I picked things and I, I designed it in such a way that I want families to come too. So often you go to visit your loved ones in facilities or communities and you can't wait to leave. And it's not because you don't love them and want to be with them. It's just the environment is so disheartening and it's hard to be around. So institutional right. and gray and cold and right. there's nothing about a home life. This is an assisted living that's really just a home. Exactly. And, 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 and all that that means. Now you obviously have a passion for this because there, there's a variety of different types of nursing. You were a nurse mm -hmm. for nine years, but there's pediatric nurses and there's, you know, were you, a, how did you get a passion for, for helping seniors? Were you always a geriatric nurse? You know, I work uh, in the med surge oncology unit. So we do oncology patients and then we do have an older population in our med surge population. So a lot of our patients go straight from us to a nursing home or they were coming from a nursing home. So I see that transition and I see how heartbreaking it is for a lot of families to decide to, you know, you can't go home anymore. You, you're not safe to live alone. So the next step is what better place to go than something just like your home. Mm -hmm. That's great. You're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KCBQ, streaming live at AM 1170, theanswer.com. Give us a tweet at Close Up SD. Email me at Barry com or find our page on Facebook. We want to hear from you. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. Here on the co host, Andrea Kay, we have Urban Miaris, and our guest is Miss Rochelle Clune from Angie's House by Generations. So tell me. Um, you know, uh, when you when you're in Rancho Santa Fe, every, mm -hmm. in order to get mail, you have to have a PO box. Nobody knows where you are, but you need people to know exactly where you're located. Isn't that one of the big attractions to coming to Angie's house? That is one of the big attractions to to know the area we're in. So we definitely advertise the area, but at the same time, I do think one of the attractions is the privacy and the security mm -hmm. of not having my address out there for people to drive right. by all the time. You know, right. by all means, you can call at any time and schedule an appointment to come and tour. We're always available for that. But I think it does add to the resident's security and safety to know that we're in this gated community and mm -hmm. families can even feel better that, you know, we're, we're safe. Absolutely. Right. And speaking of safety, you also have to think about that in terms of not just the physical safety um, for those in your care, but also you have employees. And so mm -hmm. you have the responsibility as the employer to, to have good people there on staff with you. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we have, um, we're going to have seven full-time employees when we're mm -hmm. all up and starting, and I've hired them personally. I've trained them personally as a nurse, so they've gone through 45 hours of computer training, wow. which is above and beyond what they need. Wow. And then we've done about 45 hours of just on-site training, getting to know the home, getting to know me, and we, we work with that. And then when the residents come in, I'll be there constantly in the beginning as well to do more training. 
But everyone I picked really, they stood out to me as someone that I would allow to take care of someone I love. It's very personal. Yes. And that's what I was looking for. You know, I didn't want anyone working there that I wouldn't trust with, with my mom, my dad, my grandma. It was their people that I would trust with my family. So that's what I was going for. You know, as a business person, you must have had to do a lot of modifications to the house or at least additions or improvements. Luckily, you know, when I got into the home, it had no landscaping, so that was ideal. So the whole yard was designed with this. So that was one part that was a little bit easier. And then, yeah, with the furniture, everything was kind of thought was put into every part of it as far as armrests and the couches are a certain height and beds are a certain height. So there was quite a bit of thought into it, but it does still feel very much like a home. Uh, so were you also then the designer in terms of... Uh, I was. Really? <laughs> I am a one-stop wow. shop. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you are. You know, a, a nurse and an interior I, decorator designer. I, I have to throw my thought process into this. Oh, okay. boy, here we go. No, 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 seriously. <laughs> R- Rochelle, you have done a fabulous job. Yeah. I haven't seen your facility yet. I intend to do that. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, you know, just taking somebody, the, the nursing background by itself lends to... A you know a technical a technical background you know most nurses I, I grew up in a family full of school teachers okay and try to try to teach business to school teachers okay yeah. it doesn't work okay for the for the most part I don't want to want to insult anyone <laughs> you know yeah. but nursing is is the same way you know in nursing they're scientists they're scientists you're you're technical you're analytical you have to learn how to do certain things that other people can't do and to cross that over to a business environment and a creative environment. I look at your business card. You have a beautiful business card to, to begin with. Thank you. And it's just different things like that, it it, sa- it spells unique all over it. So, mm-hmm. you know, my hat's off to you. Thank yeah, you. I bet 15 years down the road, we're going to see Angie's house in, in every high-end neighborhood, probably throughout the nation, right? That'd be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can just ride your coattails then, right? Yeah, sure, exactly. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and then we could timeshare it, so we could go from one yeah. more I, <laughs> Well, I like that. Wow, the timeshare like assisted living. There's a new concept yeah. for you. Now you're, and it is assisted living versus skilled. What, Correct. Since you have skills as a nurse, mm-hmm. why? What led you to start? Is it a stepping stone? Or are you always going to stay assisted living? Tell everybody what the difference is between assisted and skilled, and why you chose this. It's always going to stay assisted. So assisted living is more of a social model, whereas skilled is a medical model. So we're a non-medical model. We don't provide direct medical care. We do assistance with medication management. We can bring in home health agencies, bring in physical therapy agencies, coordinate your doctor's appointments and things like that. But we would not provide any type of medical care ourselves. Gotcha. Of course, you know, as needs arise, you Mm -hmm. certainly have the skill, you know how to get it Mm -hmm. and help facilitate that for the families, particularly if, if, if there is any kind of medical issue. Now, I don't know how many residents you have currently. That must require its own level of skill to make the decisions in terms of which residents to bring in because they're all going to kind of be living there together. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we do. We have, we're brand new. So we have one resident moving in. So the rest will be to come. And that is something we consider when residents are coming and touring the facility. You kind of take everyone's needs as well as their personality into consideration. Mm -hmm. And you, my goal is to find something that It's going to make everybody happy. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be best friends all the time. Right. But at the end of the day, like this still has to be a place that's going to bring you joy and Mm -hmm. it's going to bring all the residents and the caregivers joy. So you bring in people that that match that. Absolutely. You know, like you said, Barry, just the management behind this. Oh, yeah. Not only do you have the business and facilities, but all those personalities. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? We see a lot of different people, a lot of different businesses in here. You know, I I love what you're doing. Okay. And and one of the things that I think about, and and Andrea's going to look at me and and kind of sneer at me here, but one of the things I look at is how do we find the right people to match up with with the guests that come in? I'm thinking that, you know, we're already active with a lot of people in the real estate community. Mm -hmm. And people typically have to do something, rent out or sell or dispose of a property before they move into assisted living between the realtors and, you know, remember Scott Stewart and Mm -hmm. and Straziri Mancini with California State and Elder Law. These are great people for you to know. Absolutely. I I would definitely put that together. Well, Barry, Barry, don't forget, there's six residents there with years of experience. They have talents and traits that That's they right. can provide outside. Mm-hmm. It, mm-hmm. it goes both ways. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so I think I think this is great. And, and you know what the one the one comment that you made uh, in our green room that I want to kind of uh, expand upon is this is not your typical assisted living facility. You've made this out to be like you know, a, a resort living. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And that was my goal is resort like living in a family style setting. Yeah. Average age. Um, average age will probably be in the late seventies, early eighties. Right now we don't have an average as we have one resident, but that would well, probably your goal. be your goal. Yes. In Perfect. assisted living, that's the average. Yeah. And in that environment, they're all going to live to be 120 at least. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. As Yay. Long as, as long as they're happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're starting to run short on time. Tell our listeners how they find out more about Angie's house. You can visit our website. It's thegenerationshouse.com. And you can also call us anytime, 858-790-4749. We'd love to give tours and have you come out and check it out. Great. So, and you said that was the Generations House, plural. Correct. Great. Great. Well, Wonderful. Uh, this is fabulous. What I may have to go on the tour with you. I don't get to go on, on many of your visits. Oh, okay. This may be one that I would really like to go see. Okay. Well, uh, I just have one, one question for you. What do you do with somebody that comes and takes a tour that doesn't want to leave? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We'll move them in. <laughs> Yay! I'll pretend I'm in my 70s. I'll get like a wig and like put some, you know. Okay. Wrinkle stuff on. Okay, bring a voided check yeah. from uh, Jim's account, okay? <laughs> so, I will. Great. Hey, thanks for being with us. Thank we you. appreciate it. I look forward to doing a follow-up and talking more about uh, Angie's house as time goes on. Thank you so much. Great. This is Close Up on Sending a Business here at KCBQ, streaming live at am1170theanswer.com. Send us a tweet at Close Up SD or just find our page on Facebook. You can always email me, email me at barry at com. Let me know what you think. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Hey, 